Around 150 kilometers south of the Syrian capital of Damascus and located amid the fertile Nukra plains lie the ruins of Bosra. The rural atmosphere of the surrounding landscape can also be felt within the ancient city. Sheep and goats graze between the ruins that hark back to various epochs. In Bosra, there are many fine examples of Roman antiquity, as well as that of early Christian Byzantine and Arab Islamic times. The Nabataea Gate is a reminder of the first rulers of this city that is thousands of years old. Even after Bosra was annexed to the Roman Empire, the influence of Nabataea continued. A large palace was the splendid residence of the imperial legatists of the Roman province of Arabia. Bosra became an important center of power. The cistern of the pilgrims to Mecca was originally built by the Romans as a water reservoir. It was subsequently transformed. Today the Madresa Abu Al Fida reflects in the water of the cistern. Over the years the complex was the subject of much expansion. The remains of a cathedral and a nearby bishop's palace are 700 years older than the Islamic ruins and date back to the early 6th century. The cathedral was connected to the bishop's palace by way of a gate. Today, only the main walls of these buildings have survived. The Bahira Basilica is a legendary place. According to legend, it was here that the monk Sergius introduced the prophet Muhammad to Christianity and described to him his divine mission. Nearby is Bosra's Fatima Mosque. It dates back to the time of the Fatimides in the 11th century AD. The 15th century Mamaluk Baths of Hammam Manchak are one of the most beautiful ruins here. They contain both Arabian and Roman decoration. The Al Umari Mosque was almost completely constructed from ancient building materials. There was once an ancient Roman temple on the site upon which the mosque was built. Basra owed its swift success as a flourishing metropolis mainly to the Romans. Both architectural and historical examples of the Roman Empire, such as the Southern Termas, still cover large areas of the ancient city. The well-preserved remains of Bosra's second century well house, the Nymphom, still provides a good insight into the fine setting given to it by the Romans. A 900 metre long street was once the main axis of the city that, at its zenith, had around 80,000 inhabitants. Today, the ancient metropolis has a population of around a thousand. They earn their living from tourism, agriculture and livestock. The city's main tourist attraction, its Roman theater, was transformed into a fortified citadel while under Islamic rule.
Despite its military transformation, the complex is still in good order, although the fortress was conquered in the 13th century. The site of the huge Roman theatre could hardly be more spectacular. It once had a seating capacity for 20,000. Here, the former wealth of the capital of the Roman province is particularly impressive. The theatre became both a symbol and a landmark of ancient Bosra. Constructed from basalt, the sturdy seating was built in the second century and looks as though it was made to last forever. Apart from a theatre in Aspendos in today's Turkey, Bosra possesses the most well-preserved example of a Roman theatre. From the 11th century, the abandoned theatre was transformed into a fortress to protect against the Crusaders. The interior of the theatre was filled completely with soil and rubble. Only in 1947 was it excavated by a team of archaeologists. They couldn't believe their luck when they discovered the Sina, a facade of the palace that had been amazingly well preserved. Artistically worked Corinth columns with elegant capitals, as well as various niches and altars, adorn the noble facade. Every two years, the theatre comes to life once again. It is then that Bosra's popular music festival takes place in these atmospheric surroundings. Traditional Arabian music is featured. The Roman plays of antiquity are no longer performed there. This complex is a most fascinating place. At the entrance to the theatre is the lid of a fine Roman sarcophagus. The abundant splendour of Roman works of art is everywhere. Although time has left its scars on various of its once splendid objects, Due to its strategic location, Bosra was the home of many rulers and was also the important junction of various caravan routes. Its unique combination of numerous historic and cultural epochs continues to make this Syrian city a most worthwhile and fascinating destination.